systems route lately. Deader and a space caterpillar out there. Rizzo's knock you out bar. A juicy and delicious nut taco bar with caramel and pea-free nuts in it. It's time for a KYO. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think you're doing? Just don't make more paperwork for me, all right? Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of love? Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your auntie a hug today? 
This is Housing on News, reminding you that there's no I in news. No we in Housing on Somebody was trying to fix this up, but... Looks like they ain't been here in a long while. Poor old sweetie. Heard something.
takes a lot of fun to rack up a fine like that. Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port, got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. What? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, maybe a little. I'm not trying to be all creepy-like. I just want to make a good case for myself. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly... I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. Well, this'll be interesting, huh?
Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. Always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The word's a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Former dock worker, anyway. That's all in the past now. I'm over it. And he's in recovery, probably. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. That's just crazy talk. You know we'd never have a problem. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably not already filled out this time. Make yourself at home, Captain.
Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. <laughs>